so this video is going to we're going to talk about the problems with modern dating and why it's basically in the veneer. Um, it's mostly my personal experiences, of course, but I do a lot of agree with me and saying that there's really no point to dating or definitely not marriage. Unless you want everything you worked hard for or your freaking life to be taken away. Because she will take it. It's like chicks are chameleons, right? They will do whatever they have to do to get you in the door. And once you're in the door, the mask comes off. And you find out who they really freaking are. It's one of the reasons why I like being quiet. It's just naturally who I am. Quiet and I like to observe people. Or I just sit back and watch, you know, hands on the This chick, <laughs> she has no mind of her own. Her friends, friends, tell her what to say, what to do. She just does it, because she's their pup. They're manipulating her, and she doesn't even know it. Um, will I say something? No. It's not my problem, it's her problem. But if I say it's going to matter. <laughs> Because she trusts them, and they will stab her in the back one day, and then it'll be too late. I won't still, I won't be around. And I'm not waiting for her to wake up and use whatever brain cells she thinks she has, because she doesn't have any. She's an idiot. <laughs> I listen to so many Red Hill videos. This dude, 33 Secrets, uh, I think his name was Matt or something, Mike, whatever his name was. Guys like Donovan Sharp, shout out Donovan Sharp, Steve D. Williams, dudes like that. Like, some, some few relationships can work, of course, but from my experience, I just don't have the patience to deal with never any mood swings like Tom Likas always says. Because just emotions and moods will change like the friggin' wind. It's pathetic. It's not worth it. It's just not. <laughs> Can anyone honestly say, sit there and tell me that it's worth it in 2019 to put a ring on a chick's finger, a chick who gets and you have not she even looks in your direction. Everything, everything I do, it seems that they're ready to freaking throw a book at me or something. I'll just be walking down an aisle, standing out of my own effing business, and it's like, oh my god, he's looking around, what's he looking for? Oh my god, he's got his phone in his pocket, where's he got his phone in his pocket? You know, shit like that. And this adds up over time, I see all of this. I don't say anything, but I know it's everything. Believe me, I do. I know it's everything. She doesn't think I do what I do. That's why I'm like, I had enough. Done. See, the advantage I have is that she approached me, so this is all on her. I don't care. Yeah, no, I really don't. <laughs> really don't care. You know why? Because I'm, I have a guy, I'm a guy that has options. I don't need her. I don't want a girlfriend. I don't think I really do that anyway. I said this before, I just don't. It's like, I don't care. Perfectly fine with myself. I don't need a chick to be happy. It's the whole concert of is ridiculous. You know, you need to find a woman to make you complete. No, I don't. You need to start pumping out kids. No, I don't. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Perfectly fine getting some more pets over the years. Living alone, like to my main man, Tom Like. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth it, man. It's really not. <laughs> no dudes, hope you're all listening to this. Young fellas in high school, don't chase these, these dumb bras in high school. Don't do it. Don't you do it. You will pay the price later on. Wait until you're in your 20s and 
you're in a successful career, doctor, lawyer, stuff like that, they'll approach you. Don't chase them. Don't get them flowers. Don't bring them chocolate. Don't take these bitches to dinner. Nothing. Don't do it. And don't be stupid. Because, you know, once you take her to dinner, you're on her turf. She decides what happens next after that. You say you meet up after dinner, then you have the ball in your court. You take a bitch to dinner, she's holding the cards. She determines whether or not she's going to spread her legs or not. You don't have any control over that. And that's exactly why I don't take chicks to dinner. Even if I had the ability to, I wouldn't do it. Forget it. <laughs> Spinning a diamond and go and toss your naked. <laughs> it's just the bottom line. <laughs> and what's the point? And another thing, chicks that have a lot of dude friends are problems. Those girls are a problem. And they'll sit there and deny it till the cows come home. Oh, we're just a friend. I write that friends. Oh, get out of here. This person I just had enough all the BS. So this is just a little mini coaching video for you young fellas out there. Don't chase girls when you're a teenager. We are in your twenties and you're you've accomplished your dream, as Tom Micah says. Accomplish your dream before you let broads Try and destroy it, because they will. They'll sabotage it every chance they get. Why are you going out so much? Why are you going this? Why are you going here? Why aren't you around all the time? Stuff like that. They will sabotage your dream. They will get knocked up, and then you'll be paying for 18 years child support for kids you want. <laughs> Listen to me, kids. Listen to me, man. Just don't do it. Don't give in to what she wants. Because nine times out of ten, it's not what you want. This chick, let's just say this chick wants to get married or whatever. I don't. So it's not going to happen. It takes two, not one. 